should go over there and see if they're okay. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know what to say. I mean, what can you say? Well, we could send them some flowers, you know, so they know we're thinking about them. Looks like someone's had the same idea. Thanks for Stephen Tracy. Yeah. Thought I'd leave them on the doorstep. Doubt they'll want visitors today. No, that's what we thought. And, you know, we're here if they need us. Are we, though? No, we're supposed to be signing on the dotted line this afternoon, but now this has happened and Jack's going, we're in two minds. Well, it's not like you found anywhere to buy yet. What do you think, love? Should we stay? I think you should just let me know when you've made up your mind. Besides, the way this job's going, I'll be able to afford a place of my own soon. Well, look at her, trainee manager. See you later. <laughs> See ya. Oh, we should get with... I'm so sorry, I'm late. My bus didn't show up. Oh, hi, Debbie. What are you doing here? Uh, I, I was just... Uh... Uh, applying for the trainee manager's post. I told her it had gone to a more qualified candidate. Although it might reopen if your timekeeping doesn't improve, young lady. Let's hope the new house is better served by public transport. Looks like I'll be sticking with the number 28. I think we're staying pop. Do you want me to talk to Sally? No, she might get on to you. Just get Roxy on standby with the paperwork. I'll see what I can do this end. I'll speak to you later. All right, in a bit. So, what caused the change of heart about moving? Well, they wanted to get away from my granddad, but now that he's selling, they might as well stay where they are. Plus, Sally hasn't found a dream home yet. What does Sally's dream home look like? No one knows exactly. She ruled out the last one because it didn't have a B-day. Truth is, I think she'll find an excuse to hate anything that's not Hale Barnes. Oh, well, in that case, I might know of something that would interest her. A mate of mine has a development. Can't swear it's got a B-day, but it does have the right postcode. Oh, I don't think they can actually afford anything there. Well, it might, if I could swing them a discount. Have to be our little secret, mind. Can't be seen to be playing favourites, can I? Of course not. Honestly, Ray, Sally will be made up. I don't know how to thank you. Don't worry. I'll think of something. There's plenty of room for the hot tub. Oh, I'll say. I could fit a pool in that garden. I could take up single nice women. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, love. How did it go? Yeah, they've agreed to go back to the house and um, make a few more inquiries. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. What's this about single nice women, then? I'd better get back. Do you fancy driving me there? We can have a peep over the fence. Go on out if you like. Oh, no, I can't. Ray needs me back at work. He wants me to help him choose the wine list. And what do you know about wine? Uh, more than you do. Is it just going to be the two of you, then? Yeah. So, what are you getting at? Well, do you know, I think that's a bit sus. What, that he sees me as management potential? Is it really that hard to believe? No, that's not what I meant, is it? Look, I, meant... I haven't got time for this. Ray's the first person that's ever shown any faith in me. He treats me with respect. Like an equal. And I'm finally going places. Why can't you just be happy for me? Oh, I was just about to jump in the bath. Come on in. We can do it down in the barn if you like. I just don't want the other staff giving you a hard time. Helping the boss choose a new wine list might be construed as favouritism. Well, beats polishing cutlery, that's for sure. Don't you worry. Smart girl like you won't be a trainee for long. Play your cards right, you'll soon be enjoying the perks of being a manager, including the use of your own personal hotel suite whenever you need it. Why don't you start by pouring yourself a glass of the Pinot Noir? Shall I pour you one too? Sadly, no. I've got to drive. What, so you're not going to try it? I trust your judgment, Faye. That's why you're here. It's fruity. Quite a bit heavier than the last one. Um? And there's a hint of wet dog. <laughs> Not that I've tasted wet dog, obviously. <laughs> so that's a no to the mouth back then. Well, I didn't say I didn't like it. <laughs> you know what, Faye, you're a breath of fresh air. The industry needs women like you. <laughs> women who know their own mind and aren't afraid to speak it. But who can charm the birds from the trees when they need to? You really think I can do all that? Oh, I know you can. You're certainly charming me. 
Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't say I didn't like it. It's just I've got a boyfriend. Huh. Well, now you're in danger of hurting my feelings. After everything I've done for you. But hey, you can go back to polishing cutlery if that's what you want. Or, and this would be the smart move, you can continue to benefit from the opportunities I'm offering. Join me in the bath. today you see something you want you go for it no messing <laughs> i guess that's women's lib for you you know what i love about you no you're really mature for your age not like some daft young things you know your own mind having said that you do look a bit well you're not feeling guilty are you because i know you've got a thing going with craig but what he doesn't know can't hurt him right we're all grown-ups. This is just a bit of fun between you and me. No one else's business. Yeah, sure. I'm off to the bistro in a minute. I'll give you a lift if you like. Well, come on, then. Shake a leg. Tell you what, why don't you call it a day? Have an early dart. Thanks. Babe! Babe! Have you got a minute? Not really, no. Well, too good to speak to me now you're joining the Cheshire set. Sal said it was you who persuaded her to move. Not that she needed much persuading. Oh, Sally and my dad make their own decisions. <sighs> Please don't tell me Ray's got you doing his dirty work. What do you mean by that? Actually, no, forget it. Look, I'm sorry, I... Why is everyone just so obsessed with Ray? Get a life, Abby! 